Hi, it's Victoria Michaels and I am back with another YouTube tutorial. This one is a wig styling tutorial for this beautiful head of hair. It is a drag queen ponytail. Yes. Nay! Whatever sounds ponies make. <laughs> I'm going to be teaching you how to make this head of hair. Uh, I've used one wig to make it and it looks stunning. So if you want to learn how to do it yourself, stick around and I will teach you how. We have our little lavender lady. She's all ready to go. She's all ready to be styled. Let's go, girlfriend. <laughs> now it needs to be straight. So at least the, like the front portion needs to all be straight because if it's not straight and you're going to put it up, there's going to be all weird lines through it. So you want it to look even so that when we pull it back, it's looking good. It's looking sharp, looking straight, looking even. <laughs> First job that we're gonna do is we need to get the hair all sort of up and out of the way. Yeah. Right, let's do that. We're turning our head to the side, like so, and we need to gather the hair up. So I'm going to go from, you can kind of see where the lace ends, and we're gonna go in a straight line. All the hair on that side of the line is gonna get gathered up on top. And then we want it to sit up here in the middle, in our ponytail shape. So we're going to take the end of our teasing comb or just you could do the chopstick or just something to separate it all up and we're going to gather that here voila now your job is to smooth it all out. All right we have got a handful of hair yes you can see what I've done there, right? Yo, job one, check. <laughs> now just to make our life a little bit easier, just pop that hair down for a moment and to keep this bottom portion out of our way, just use like a hair tie to keep it all together. Oh, wow, that's stunning how that all fell down. That's great. Yes. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we are going to grab a brush, might be a hair brush, might be a brush, we're gonna brush the hair. What we're gonna start doing is brushing the hair so that it's all nice and even. So you wanna try and pull it, not like that. <laughs> it's very hard on this angle. See, you can see what I'm doing. We're just straightening it all up, nice and tidy. Okay, we are starting to head in the right direction. You can see that there, it's all starting to look not too bad. We have our hair pretty much up where we want it to be, well, roughly. Uh, what I'm gonna do is take some hairspray and go around like the hair that's slicked up and spray it and then use a brush to just sort of smooth it some more and get it into place. What I'm doing now, er, now that it's pretty much in place, we're gonna use a whole lot of hair elastics. <laughs> Not showing that very well. I'm gonna use some hair elastics. Oh my gosh, look, it's invisible. And I'm gonna use some of these and also some rubber bands, purple ones. So, obviously, just as you would with a normal ponytail, I'm gonna get in there. Just. Get that in place. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> then tighten it up. So sometimes you may have to do this a couple of times if the hair doesn't like to sit perfectly. Not too bad. Okay. Looks good. Now I'm gonna take some rubber bands and we're gonna just start building it up. What do I mean by building it up? If you just left it that, at where it is now, if I was to let it go, it'll just flop down. That's not cute or hot or pretty. So you want it to have a bit of volume, right? So to get that, I use rubber bands. So you can even just fold it over on itself twice. It's quite the big one. Next her. And pop number one on. Around a couple of times. <laughs> okay. 
kidding. Uh, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of hype to our little pony. Look at her there. Oh, so high. High as a kite. <laughs> there are nine purple rubber bands and then the one sort of elastic at the bottom. The reason why I didn't just use all rubber bands is because the elastic of uh, the, 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 the the rubber bands that I use were quite a bit longer than the elastic, so it would have been a lot harder to try and get the first one looking very nice. But yes, yeah, so that's why we did that. So we're going to just use some hairspray and just tidy up all that area again around the bottom because, you know, a few hairs may have moved. You still want it looking pretty even. Look at it. It's still pretty good. We're just going to tidy it up a little bit. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> So from the underside of the pony, I want to take a chunk of hair, lecture, and I want to plait it. And the plait is going to be used to go round and round and round where we put the rubber bands to disguise it. I have clipped the rest of the ponytail out of the way using that piece of hair that we selected. It doesn't really show you, but it's fairly thick. We're going to divide it into three parts, three even parts, uh, and then we're going to plait it. Yes. Easy peasy, easy peasy, easy peasy. <laughs> so we're gonna do like the most basicest, plattiest plait ever. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the furthest strand of hair and you put it between the middle of the other two. And you take the other furthest one and put that through the middle. Now the middle strand goes through the middle and you repeat like so. When you get to the end, take one of our little elastics and just tie it off. Okay. <laughs> I've flipped the hair over the braid, still sitting under there. Ooh, there she is. Uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to take our teasing brush and we are going to tease this top portion just to make it a little bit bigger, more exciting, more volume. Obviously, you just have to be careful that you don't go and rip the braid out when you're pulling out a portion of hair, because we're not teasing that. So you take your portion of hair and just get in there and back comb it. Just get a good, a really good tease. Sure. Uh, we've now teased up the top. Yes, all of it's done. The other thing we've got to do is now move the braid out of the way and we're going to tease all this hair that's down. We have ourselves a little rat's nest. Um, <laughs> so now we're just going to flip all the hair over. Over, over, over. And then we're going to smooth it down. I'll just go brush the hair down in the basement, don't mind me. <laughs> We're now gonna flip, flip the top over. <laughs> We're gonna flip. Oh yes. Oh yes, look at her, she's so big. What we're gonna do is again, If you want that ponytail to sit a little more upright, there's some little tricks you can do. So like zip ties, or in this case, I'm gonna just stick like a bobby pin or two just around the base to help hold it up. But that's optional. If you don't mind it sitting back a little bit, it's up to you. You do what works for you. See? Ah, oh, perfect. So do you remember the braid we did earlier? This one? Oh. What we're gonna do now is use the braid to wind it around the shaft of the ponytail and disguise it. So you just wind it around and then use a couple of longer volvi pins on the back side to hold them in place. It's really easy. At this point, we actually have a finished wig. You could stop at this point if you, oops, quick squeak, if you like 
a straight ponytail. You can see it is very straight. It looks lovely. I'm going to quickly put a curl through it because I like a good curl through my hair using an electric curler, but it's totally up to you what you want to do. And I just, yeah, I'll just do that. <laughs> Our final job is to set the hair into place so it doesn't move. So you can use some hairspray and a hairdryer. You can put a diffuser on the end if you want. And you're gonna just spray some hairspray. And then on a mild warmth, <laughs> you're gonna just blow the wind over where you just put the hairspray and it'll set it into place. What do you think of the Finished hairstyle on my head. Doesn't it look lovely and luscious and lavender? <laughs> it makes me look more beautiful than I thought possible. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video or it was useful or you learned something. Um, make sure that you like the video, that you comment, you share, you subscribe. Come and find me on my other channel. So Instagram is Victoria underscore Michaels. Facebook is Victoria Michaels Queen and TikTok is Victoria Michaels with the number zero on the end. That is the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.